Hello, everybody. This is Brother Luke, Sim City Preacher. I'd like to take a couple of minutes now to recommend and introduce you to another one of my playlists. This one is titled Dogmatism. Now, I recently made a, a short video titled uh, Things I Hate the Most. And two things were on the list. The first was uh, the preaching of the false gospel of works salvation. The second thing that I hate the most is dogmatism in the church. Now, uh, this is what I have on like the introduction description box of this uh, playlist. Dogmatism, it's a noun. The definition is the tendency to lay down principles as incontrovertibly true without consideration of evidence or the opinions of others. Second definition is arrogant, stubborn assertion of opinion or belief. The third definition is dogmatic character, unfounded positiveness in matters of opinion. Arrogant assertion of opinions as truths. So, doesn't sound like dogmatism is a virtuous quality. However, I will say this. As a Christian, I am dogmatic about the core doctrines of Christianity. We Christians should be dogmatic about the core doctrines. But we should also be tolerant about the minor doctrines. We should unite in the deity of Christ, faith alone for salvation and eternal security. But we should not divide over the rest of theology. But instead, we should be able to have civil discussions and learn from each other. Sadly, that is not the case in Christendom. Christendom is a, a word that just refers to all the people who identify themselves as some kind of a Christian. This is the reason we have over 30,000 denominations of Christianity, because people divide over every theological subject matter. I, I urge everybody to adopt the attitude that, yes, let's be dogmatic and uh, strongly, firmly defend the core doctrines of Christianity. But let us also be able to listen to each other on all other subject matter, hear each other out, give each other a fair hearing, actually listen, actually consider the other person's point of view. Who knows? Maybe you'll change your mind. Maybe you won't change your mind. But if you are willing to listen, at least you'll understand the other person's point of view. I've found that so many professing Christians are, are very quick to scrutinize every word that I say on my videos. Every word of every comment that I make, every word is scrutinized, seeking to find fault. I dealt with a YouTuber just yesterday that actually said, I'm a lordship heretic de a, a detector. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to scrutinize every word to find find uh, anything you say that's wrong. 
that's this person's uh, objective. Well, uh, that's fine. We, 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 we should scrutinize each other, but let's not be so quick to point out each other's faults, at least on all the minor theological subjects. Now, these introduction, introduction videos I'm doing for my playlists, when I'm finished with them, I'll, I'll have about, I think about 65 playlists. Some of the playlists that I'm offering to you to consider, the subject matter is controversial in that there's not unanimity on, on the subject. There are varying viewpoints and there are factions of people that are standing on one side or the other. Sometimes there's even more than two positions. There's three or four different viewpoints on the subject. But I'm going to ask you to watch these playlists not as a dogmatist that with the person's your mind is so made up that you're simply trying to find fault but watch them with an open mind willing to consider that maybe just maybe your current position could be wrong you think that might be possible or do you think that you are omniscient as god is omniscient you know it all and it's impossible for you to be wrong I've been proven wrong a few times over the years, and when it was proven to me, I changed my mind and adopted the other position. Are you willing to consider that you might be wrong on some theological subjects? And if you're proven wrong, are you willing to change your mind? Or are you a dogmatist? Someone is arrogantly, stubbornly holding on to your position without even being willing to consider the other person's viewpoint. All right, so this is the introduction to my playlist on dogmatism. Uh, I hope you will watch the videos on the playlist and I hope you will adopt an attitude that you're willing to uh, be gracious to other Christians. Uh, don't be so quick to judge and point out their faults and, and mistakes on minor doctrines and be willing to listen and learn from each other. Bless you all in the name of our great Savior God, Jesus.